Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. In the annals of human civilization, few inventions have captured our fascination and imagination quite like the mirror. From the humble beginnings of polished stones to the modern marvels of precision-engineered glass, the history of mirror-making is a captivating journey through time, technology, and human ingenuity. Our story begins in the ancient world, where early civilizations first discovered the reflective properties of natural materials. Polished obsidian, a volcanic glass found in regions like Anatolia and Mexico, served as one of the earliest forms of mirrors. Crafted by skilled artisans who meticulously ground and polished the surface, these primitive mirrors provided glimpses of one's own reflection, albeit with limited clarity and distortion. As civilizations flourished and trade routes expanded, the knowledge of mirror-making spread across continents. In ancient Egypt, polished copper and bronze served as reflective surfaces, offering a more refined reflection compared to earlier materials. These mirrors were often adorned with intricate designs and symbols, reflecting not only the image of the beholder, but also the artistic prowess of the craftsman. The art of mirror making continued to evolve in ancient Greece and Rome, where the use of polished silver and gold became prevalent among the affluent elite. These metal-backed mirrors, known as speculum metal mirrors, offered superior reflectivity and clarity, albeit at a considerable cost. Reserved for the privileged few, these mirrors became symbols of wealth and status in societies where vanity and self-admiration held considerable sway. The Middle Ages witnessed a decline in mirror-making as Europe grappled with economic instability and technological stagnation. Reflective surfaces were often relegated to polished metal discs or shallow bowls, offering functional utility rather than aesthetic appeal. However, the Renaissance period ushered in a renewed interest in science, art, and innovation, laying the groundwork for a revolution in mirror-making. It was during the Renaissance that glass-making techniques underwent significant advancements, paving the way for the production of clearer and more uniform glass. Venetian artisans, renowned for their mastery of glass blowing and annealing, began experimenting with methods to coat glass surfaces with reflective metals, such as silver and mercury. These early attempts laid the foundation for the modern mirror, albeit with inherent limitations and imperfections. The 17th and 18th centuries marked a period of refinement and expansion in mirror-making, driven by scientific inquiry and industrial progress. In 1835, German chemist Justus von Liebig revolutionized the process with the invention of silvering, a technique that involved coating glass with a thin layer of silver through a chemical reduction process. This breakthrough dramatically improved the quality and durability of mirrors, making them more accessible to a wider audience. The Industrial Revolution of the 19th century further propelled the mirror-making industry forward, with mass production techniques leading to greater affordability and availability. Innovations such as the silvering process and mechanized grinding and polishing methods revolutionized mirror production, transforming what was once a luxury item into a household commodity. By the dawn of the 20th century, mirrors had become ubiquitous fixtures in homes, businesses, and public spaces around the world. Advancements in glass manufacturing, such as the float glass process developed by Alastair Pilkington in the 1950s, enabled the production of larger, thinner, and more uniform sheets of glass, further driving down costs and expanding applications. Today, the art and science of mirror-making continue to evolve with cutting-edge technologies and materials. From high-definition distortion-free mirrors used in aerospace and automotive applications to innovative architectural designs that incorporate mirrored surfaces for aesthetic and functional purposes, the possibilities are endless. 
Let's now talk about the detailed process of mirror making. It begins with the selection of high quality glass, typically made from silica sand, soda ash and limestone, melted together at high temperatures. This molten glass is then poured onto a bed of molten tin in a process known as the float glass method, creating a perfectly flat surface with uniform thickness. Once the glass has cooled and solidified, it undergoes a series of grinding and polishing steps to achieve the desired smoothness and clarity. Next comes the crucial step of applying a reflective coating to the glass surface. Traditionally, this involved the silvering process, where a thin layer of silver is deposited onto the glass through a chemical reaction. However, modern techniques may employ aluminum or other metals applied through vacuum deposition or sputtering methods for increased durability and reflectivity. After the reflective coating has been applied, a protective layer, typically composed of paint or a specialized sealant, is added to prevent tarnishing and ensure the longevity of the mirror. This final step also enhances the mirror's resistance to scratches and abrasions, ensuring a pristine reflection for years to come. Throughout this process, strict quality control measures are implemented to ensure that each mirror meets exacting standards of clarity, reflectivity, and durability. Imperfections such as bubbles, scratches, or distortions are meticulously inspected and corrected, ensuring that the final product meets the expectations of discerning consumers. As we conclude this journey, the rich tapestry of mirror making unfurls a narrative of human ingenuity and perseverance across epochs. From the rudimentary beginnings of polished stones to the refined precision of contemporary mirror production, each chapter in this saga speaks volumes about our relentless pursuit of innovation and excellence. As we gaze into these reflective surfaces, we not only see our own image, but also a reflection of the myriad advancements and challenges that have shaped our collective journey. The mirrors that adorn our walls and fill our spaces serve as silent witnesses to the triumphs and tribulations of civilizations, past and present. Moreover, the evolution of mirror making underscores the interconnectedness of science, art, and culture. From the ancient artisans who honed their craft through trial and error to the modern engineers who harness cutting edge technologies to create flawless reflections, the story of mirror making is as much a testament to human creativity as it is to our quest for self-understanding. As we bid farewell to this captivating exploration, let us carry forward a newfound appreciation for the mirrors that surround us, not merely as functional objects, but as symbols of our boundless potential and capacity for innovation. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to continue delving into the wonders of human history and ingenuity. Thank you for embarking on this enlightening journey with us. Until we meet again, may you continue to reflect on the marvels of the world around you, both seen and unseen. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.